we got two things. Um, well, actually, no, more than two things. So for top secret, let's uh, let's talk about what we're going to show. Okay. So first up, we have a video of the ESP2 Feather with TFT. Then we have a design, um, and you can talk about that. And then you're going to show some stuff on the other. Yeah, I can show some. Of the you ready to go? Yeah, go there for it. Go. All right, Lady Ada, what is this? Hey, Happy New Year. We're just wrapping up a couple last projects before the new year gets rung in. This is an ESP32 S2, or later on, probably S3 uh, feather. Um, it's got all the stuff you expect from a feather, battery, USB-C, um, stomach QT port with a separate LDO. For battery monitoring, I'm using the Mac 17048. Uh, there's an optional BME280, NeoPixel, and then, like I said, the S2 with PS RAM. And then this is a reversed mount uh, TFT feather. So it's got that um, 240 by 135 color TFT. Uh, and then I've got a couple buttons with the GPIO that, oops, hold on. I've got a couple buttons uh, on the GPIO that are not used um, and a reset button. And uh, it seems to be working. All right. Next up, what's this, Lydia? Um, so, uh, you know, designing more BFFs. Um, and uh, I was working this uh, on the other project, this Ada Logger, which I'll show in a moment, and um, realized that the micro SD card was holder was slim enough that it could fit on the back of uh, the Xiao or uh, Cutie Pie. And so I designed this little BFF that's just uses the SPI pins, and you can configure the SD. Um, pin as well, the SD chip select, uh, so you get a lot of storage. That could be really fun too for like big data logging projects or maybe like audio playback or, or something yeah. on a uh, cutie pie. All right, and then you have your demo that you yes. wanted to show. Well, first and then I, we'll do the top secret. I changed the USB port now. This is working. Yeah. So this is. Um, I was plugging and unplugging so many things. I think maybe I bumped something earlier today. Oh no! Yeah, this is now. It's not working. Yeah. Hold on. I th there's so many cables. This is... You know, know that scene in Indian Jones where he's like, I don't like snakes, and like snakes are all over him? It's like that okay. with cables here. So, yeah, so here you go. I just, it's also it's not soldered in. It's going to press fit. But this is the the button, and then when I press the button, I'm just... The, that's what my demo code does. Um, well, we shoot this demo maybe this weekend. I'll, I'll show it off, and we can add to the product page. Um, but just, like, I thought it'd be, we could come for the project. It's like, okay, it's like press the button, and something happens, and then the LED tells you it's green when the thing occurred. Uh, so the other thing I got is I'm designing more cowbells. So this is the um, next design. This is the Ada Log or cowbell, which has um, micro SD slot, um, RTC, a battery backup for the RTC, and a 7 QT port. So you could fit this underneath your Pico or Pico W um, if you use stacking headers, which this this does. Let me remove it. Also, I'm not soldered in. Um, you know, you have stacking headers, you can have this on a, a board and then you could still connect uh, to GPIO on your board and then plug your Pico or Pico W on top uh, to get uh, data logging. And then you can, you know, remove your SD card or insert it pretty easily. And that's that ultra slim um, micro SD card that would fit between the two headers. Okay. okay, that's what I got. And that is this week's top secret Lady Ada. Super secret. Super secret. It's top secret.